Hi, Colin with Dow Dynamics here, and today we're going to show you how to install a 30 inch light bar using our stealth brackets on a 2015 to 2019 Chevy Colorado. Let's get started. To start this installation, we're actually going to have to remove the whole front bumper. So, as you can see, we're starting on the driver's side and we have the wheels cut all the way to the left. That's just so we have easier access to the back of this bumper. We're starting here in the wheel well because the first thing we're going to do is remove this fender liner by removing these six T15 torque screws. After all six screws are taken out, we can just go ahead and peel this fender liner back to gain access to the screws in the back of the bumper. And then we're gonna repeat the same process for the other side. With the fender liner back, the first bolt we're gonna to wanna to remove is this seven millimeter bolt right here. This holds the bumper onto the chassis. The next thing we're gonna do is remove the three seven millimeter bolts holding the bumper onto the fender. It's going to be one closest to us by the wheel well, one in the middle, and one closer to the headlight. And before we move on, if your vehicle has a fog light, we're going to want to remove the connector on the back. So once you get all the bolts removed on one side, you're going to want to move to the other side of the vehicle and repeat the same steps, then move on to the bolts underneath the bumper. So next, we're going to want to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts holding the bottom of the bumper onto the vehicle. There's going to be one here and one on the other side. So after we've got our bolts removed from underneath of the bumper, we're gonna move on to this lower grill here. There's two 10 millimeter bolts up and on an angle underneath there. So it might be easier to grab yourself an extension just so you can get to those easier. On either side, when you're looking through here, you can see these little cutouts here. They're oval cutouts. The 10 millimeter bolt is gonna be back straight through those cutouts. The last of the hardware we're gonna need to take this front bumper off are these six T15 Torx screws. So we've reached the point where we can completely remove the front bumper. Now it's important to note that if you do have someone there to help you with this step, it would be a little bit easier, but we're just gonna go ahead and do it ourselves. So we're gonna grab the front bumper by the wheel well and by the front grill here, and we're gonna pull from the wheel well side and the grill at the same time to break those loose. Now we're gonna repeat the same steps from the other side, but note that at this point the bumper is free to fall, so make sure you get a good hold on. So the last step in the process before we actually mount the brackets up for the light bar itself is to remove these four 15 millimeter bolts holding on the crash bar. All right, so after those bolts are removed, we can simply bring the bash bar down and straight out. So now that we have our crash bar off, we can take our Colorado brackets and start to fish them through. So this portion can get a little tricky, but don't worry, just remember the dialed logo should be facing the top and the slant should be toward the wheel. So we're simply gonna fish it up through this last portion right here. Come straight up and out like this, and then we're simply going to line up the holes. So for now, we're just gonna let this bracket rest right here. For the other side, we're gonna do the same thing. It'll just be opposite. Remember, dial logo facing up, slant facing the other wheel. Again, we're gonna fish this through this last slot right here. Come straight up, and then we're gonna line up the holes. So after you have the brackets fished through this air duct right here and everything's ready to go, it's just a matter of taking the crash bar and placing it back in the stock location. Now, if you don't have a friend, this can be a little tricky. It might be easier just to balance it on something. I'm going to use my leg. So what's cool about this bracket is it actually utilizes the stock bolt hole locations for the crash bar. So whenever you put that in there, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you line up the holes with the bracket and the crash bar holes. Now, it's easier to use an extension. That's why I have mine right here. So 
so that we don't have to continue to balance this crash bar, we're gonna go ahead and put in the top bolt on the other side as well. Then we can move on to the other two bottom bolts. Now that your brackets are secured, we're gonna go ahead and fasten the light bar up with the brackets using the supplied hardware, the two holes on the sides of the light bar, and the two holes on the brackets. And it's important to note that we are putting these bolts in hand tight so that we have room for adjustment later. The next step in the process is to route this cable. Now you can do this any specific way for your specific application, but what we're gonna do is take the cable, route it underneath of the headlight, and then up into the engine bay, where we can zip tie it to this hood latch cable. Before we go ahead and reassemble the front bumper, we're gonna wanna wire up our light bar with a wiring harness. Now, we're not gonna show you the wiring process, just because it can vary per application. Just go ahead and wire it up whichever way you see fit. Now that our stealth bracket kit is installed, you can enjoy much greater light output and still keep that sharp factory look with no extra cutting or drilling. If you'd like to pick up our stealth bracket kit or any of our other products, you can visit our website at dialdynamics.com or use our dealer locator tool to find a dealer near you. Thanks for watching.